812 Competizione. Another one of these crazy exercises. Ferrari's making hybrids, it's going to make an SUV. But as Raffaoli just said, they still have to make a crazy car, and this is the crazy car. It's soaking wet at Fiorano. I've got way more power than I need. So let's just see what it can do. The fourth gear coming out of there, taking that traction is pretty impressive. The front of the car wants to understeer, but I can feel something clever going on at the back. That's the independent rear steering hold, holding me in line, it says, with a massive snap of oversteer. It's slippery today. I'm now going to go up over the bridge in fourth gear because it feels like that's where the majority of the traction is. Yeah, it's fast. Good God, it pulls. And I can't quite believe that I've got a limiter of 9,500 RPM from a massive B12 to so much torque. Oh, it's a monster. It's accurate as well. It's an accurate device. But well, I tell you what, on a day like today, without the systems, I think I would be looking at basically being backwards in the scenery. The brakes are immense. It's just a, it's a beast. It's a beast of a car. Right, this really is a smash and grab day for me. So I have a quick look around this Competizione, as you can see. A load of carbon fiber stuff on the bonnet that isn't normal. Front end, massive intakes for the brakes. Towing eyes because it's Fiorano. A different wheel, a different wheel. But also now we have this independent rear wheel steering. I mean, the calibration working with the slide slip control um, at the rear is incredible. I mean, it's just so complicated. How they calibrate it, I do not know. This back end is it's busy, isn't it? No rear window, just a camera there. And then those sort of louvers, the aero louvers and the exhaust is the party piece. There's always a party piece. Look at that. It looks like it's straight off a prototype. Loads of diffuser, flicks, wings, aero management everywhere. I mean, it is an Eiffel. Don't get me wrong, it's an Eiffel. It's a send-off model, isn't it? It's a send-off for the V12, normally aspirated Ferrari, and as such, so it should be. Let's have a look inside. There's my lid, just in case you didn't know what it was. Otherwise, it's quite normal 812, if you can call such a thing normal. Um, that's important for the passenger, I can assure you. Uh, harness belts are standard. There's no inertia wheel belt that I could feel anywhere. It is a beast, but I think tellingly, less of an animal than a TDF, more drivable, and yet with nine and a half thousand RPM, probably just as scary when it needs to be, but more usable on the road. There you go. Chris Cam out. Let's turn a few things off, see what happens. I think it's going to be a bit of a handful. So, this is third gear on a damp hairpin. Let's see what it does. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, okay. It's a bit lively. I was third gear. The right hand of T1. perfect for 
this type of car, but I mean, it's unbelievable the control you can have. These are quite big angles, people. Quite big angles. You just control all of the insanity with your right foot. It's very controllable though, I find myself. I'm scared of it, I'm apprehensive, but when it breaks into the oversteer, it's all instinctive. So, I'm not worried about that. God, bloody hell. It's a workout. The engine is just off the scale. How they sell these things with a warranty, I do not know. There she goes. The rider out to nine. 9,000 RPM, third gear wet weather skits at Fiorano in November. Enjoy it while we can, people. It's a mad world we live in. Wow. Wow. What a machine.